Hello all, welcome back to Dr. Kala Edu. So today we are going to discuss a topic regarding multiple alleles. Okay, so what are multiple alleles? Generally, uh, we come to know that uh, phenotypic trait that is the characters of a particular individual, uh, it may be depend on single pair of genes. Okay, so single pair of genes in that each of the uh, genes will having the specific locus we all know that in uh, common so but here in multiple alleles what happen is uh, more than two or three forms of allelic forms okay of a particular gene they are going to occupy a same locus okay when uh, more allelic forms occupy on the same locus of that particular gene is called as a multiple alleles okay so what are the characteristics of this multiple alleles uh, okay so they are in series okay so what is that series as like what we look upon in the tvs uh, series like that in uh, videos like that so it's going to arrange in a line of series like this so that what will be there there will be no crossing over as they are in the same locus line it is arranged in a line so there will be an no crossing over that is no overlapping so what is the next thing what happens so that next next generations the same characters are the thing will be happen so as there is no uh, crossing over the characters will be the same so hence it is responsible for that particular character to transfer into that next generation so next is wild type allele so here according to this multiple alleles this wild type alleles are generally uh, dominant in character they are very dominant in characters uh, they are not recessive dominant means we all know that the character which is going to be expressed is called as a dominant character so next is uh, mutant type so here also we come across different type of mutants if uh, there is a mutant if there is a mutant uh, in that particular type it influences it is going to influences the both dominant or intermediate phenotype so the expression will be only the mutant type that is in the next generations we can't see uh, the in the next generations dominic or any intermediate phenotype we can look upon only that mutant type which has came in that particular generation so hence when the mutants are cross the phenotype is a mutant okay so the mutants cross the phenotype is mutant okay so regarding multiple alleles we are having an example of cell sterility in nicotiana okay so earlier the multiple alleles experiments were undergone and later they have found some of the scientists have found that multiple alleles also responsible for the self sterility that is they have some association regarding self sterility what is that self sterility self sterility is also called as self incompatibility so it is also called as self incompatibility okay okay right so an uh, scientist named east in 1925 he only observed this multiple allele uh, cell sterility condition in nicotiana so what he has explained to us here is uh, he told that the allelic series are expressed in the letter s s and we have a set of allelic series from s1 to s5 s1 s2 s3 s4 and s5 so what happens in this nicotiana so nicotiana plant what happens is self uh, in self pollination the infertility happens sorry uh, sterility is happened self sterility so we all know the about self pollination and cross pollination what is mean by self pollination in a particular plant the flower will be there in the same flower male and female parts will be there so there the anther will move on to the same flower stigma and the uh, fertilization will takes place which is called as fertilization if it is cross fertilization means 
the anthers produce pollen grains which will pass to the next plant next plant is called as in cross fertilization we all know that okay so here in uh, nicotiana self sterilization we find uh, sterility okay in uh, what happens in self pollination sorry in self pollination we find uh, uh, sterility that is we all know a stigma style and ovary so what happens a same allelic form when comes and reaches the pollen grain if reaches the stigma it will not accept that pollen grain the growth of the pollen tube is inhibited or else it will not allow that pollen grain to fuse with the female gametophyte yeah, anyhow some some hour it for it forms a pollen tube and it reaches the ovule we have two male gametes here till that also it can reach but it could not fertilize with the female gametophyte this condition is called as an self sterility so if there is self pollination sterility condition occurs where it is occurs in nicotiana so he our sign uh, so what happens here is we find that cross pollinations no homozygous characters so in cross pollination what happens or cross uh, fertilization in cross fertilization we find not always homozygous there is no homozygous condition in cross fertilization but all the plants are said to be heterozygous homozygous means same characters heterozygous means it is different so here we can't find cross fertilization again i am telling so cross fertilization home no homozygous condition so the plants are generally they were always heterozygous so till here i think i am very clear for you people so next is uh, i am giving an example here if the s1 and s2 we all know that in vegetative reproduction 2n condition and the chromosomes occurs in pairs so here also s1 and s2 two genes we are writing so s1 and s2 if we cross with s1 and s2 what will happen here self sterility will occur that is we all know if it is same thing what happen self pollination will occur only in the same plant same type of genes will be present so here what will happen self sterility will happen it will not fertilization will not be allowed here but in case if you cross s1 and s2 with s3 and s4 there will be fertilization which is an another plant this is from another plant this is from another plant so there is a chance of chance event of pollination and then it leads to gametic fusion and then fertilization okay so what happened we they they have observed so much of characters here and i am going to explain in that small chart so first is these are the female parent female parent is uh, nothing but they are giving us stigma spot why means when it reaches the stigma itself it will get rejected so we, we, are, we are telling here a stigma spot and the male parent is pollen source male parent is always the pollen source so uh, we uh, according to the allelic forms we can take s1 and s2 s2 s3 s3 s4 same likewise in the male parent also one uh, gene is overlapping s1 s2 again s2 s3 s3 s4 okay how what and all the combinations here we are going to uh, calculate so as we said if it is of same uh, cross there will be an self sterility so s1 and s2 what will happen they are self sterile so fertilization will not takes place we should get understood that if it is s1 and s2 uh, it is of same flower same flower which has the male and the female gametophyte so next here we come across we are they are going to cross with s1 and s2 with s2 and s3 so what are the possible combinations will be here the first here is s2 s2 will be getting eliminated because here if there is of same genes what will happen there will be self sterility so s2 s2 it is getting rejected there is no 
fertilization. So what, what is the balance here? S3. So what are the combination chances? S3 it can meet with S2 or S3 it can meet with S1. So two combinations here. So here chance of cross fertilization is of two chances. So in case if it crosses with S3 and S4 what will happen? So here uh, we have two sets of combinations. So S3 it will pair with both S1 and S2. S4 also it will pair with both S1 and S2. See here S3, S1, S3, S2, S4, S1, S4, S2. So we have four type of combinations in the next generation. So here also we have the possibilities of fertilization. So next condition is S2 and S3. Again with S1 and S2 what will happen? Here also the S2, S2 will be getting eliminated. So same trait will not going to give fertilite, fertility here. It causes sterility. So balance is S3. So, so here S3 with S1 and S2. So S1, S2, S1, S3. So here the chances of uh, fertility is here. So next here also S2 with S3, S2 with S3, same type sterility occurs. Next is same here S3 and S4 if we cross with S2 and S3. So here obviously S3 and S3 will be getting rejected. Then S4 is with S2 and again S4 is with S3. Okay. So only S3, S3 is getting rejected. But when it comes for S4, S3 can be considered because S3 and S4 are different. This is female parent and this is male parent. Again the third combination we have S3 and S4. What happens here? This S1 and S2 we have four set of combinations as like here. As like here we will be having all the four sets of combinations. So but he, here we consider that male parent first. So S1, S3, S1, S4, S2, S3. S3, S4. So we have a set of combinations here. Again here, what is the chance? S3 and S3 will be getting rejected. For S2, we will be having two combinations. One is S2 with S3 and there is S2 with S4. So next set is S3, S4 pairs with S3, S4. We will get self sterility. From this table, we understood that if it is of same trait, same trait of that condition that we will not get fertile okay so if it is an cross pollination that too with the different trait that should be in cross pollination also what is the condition that should be have different trait here i told you as it's cross pollination also we have s3 and s3 if that s3 and s3 it comes the male gametophyte could not fuse with the female gametophyte so this is the uh, thing regarding this uh, self sterility in nicotiana so exam point of view generally they will ask about general what are these alle how much alleles are present like this what are the allelic series and it sign this name but when it comes to need they may ask regarding this checkerboard okay so i think i am clear with this topic multiple alleles if you have any doubts you can comment me in the comment section i will clear your doubts thank you